Hi everyone, I am Shen Chengyu from Nanjing University. It is my great honor to have the chance to present our paper in XC 2021 here. The work is about the crowdsourced test report prioritization via deep screenshot understanding. My presentation is divided into four parts, the introduction and the background, the methodology in detail, the experiment for the approach evaluation, and the conclusion part. Crowdsourced testing is increasingly dominant in mobile app testing but it is a great burden for app developers to inspect the incredible number of test reports. In this testing paradigm, crowd workers are required to submit the texture descriptions on the bug they found and attach an activity screenshot of the bug occurrence as a proof. Other structured information will also be collected automatically. Among the recent researches, test report disposal is always divided into two parts, app screenshots and texture descriptions. Existing researchers analyze these two parts separately to extract features. For texture descriptions, existing approaches extract the keywords and normalize the keywords according to the predefined vocabulary. For app screenshots, they treat each screenshot as the whole and extract the image features represented with numeric vectors. After obtaining the results from two parts, most work simply concatenate image information and text information. However, we think this kind of disposal can cause much valuable information to be missing. The relationship between texture, descriptions, and app screenshots is also left out. We give three examples to illustrate our claim. In the first one is the themes. All these three reports are reporting the loading failure of music resource files. However, the image color feature is one vital component of the report surrogate. App screenshots with different colors will be recognized as different screenshots even if the reports are describing the same problem. In the second example, the two reports use the screenshots of the same app activity, and the image feature extraction algorithm will assign a high similarity between these two screenshots. However, according to the bug description, the two reports are describing completely different bugs. For report number 1128, we can extract the text no media found. For report number 1127, we can extract the volume widget besides the prompt information, and the deep prior will be designed to be able to identify the different problems. In the third example, the image view widget on the top is of different contents, and it occupies a large proportion of the entire page. Also, the comments are different due to different testing time. Therefore, existing approaches will consider the two screenshots are of low similarity, which will pull down the whole similarity even if the texture descriptions are with high similarity. Actually, the two reports are describing the same problem. In such a situation, we hold that semantics of both screenshots and texture descriptions are important. Therefore, we propose Deep Prayer, a novel approach to prioritize cross-source test reports via deep screenshot understanding. Deep Prior consists of four parts, feature extraction, feature aggregation, deep similarity calculation, and report prioritization. During the feature extraction, we use text CNN model to classify the texture descriptions into bug description and reproduction step. To train the text CNN model, we form a large-scale text classification dataset composed of 2,252 bug descriptions and 2,088 reproduction steps. Computer vision technologies are used to extract the widgets from the app screenshots. One of the widgets is a problem widget and the rest are the context widgets. To locate the problem widget, we match the describing information in the bug descriptions to the texts recognized from the widget image. For all the extracted feature, we aggregate according to their semantics. The bug feature and the context feature. Bug feature includes the problem widget and the bug description, and it describes the bug itself. Context feature includes the context widget and the reproduction step, and it is used to construct the complete context of the occurring bug and the triggering reason. The deep similarity calculation is important. We define deep similarity to represent the similarity between two reports with the consideration of the semantics. For bug description, we transfer it to the text feature vector. For problem widget, we transfer it to the image feature vector. For the reproduction step, we transfer it to the action object sequence by extracting the operations and objects. For the context widget, 
we train a CNN model to classify a type and form an amount vector. Deep similarity is calculated by the weight sum of the different features. Finally, we do the prioritization. We treat all the reports equally at the beginning of the prioritization, so we construct a null report. The null report also consists of four parts. The bug description is a zero vector with the same length of actual reports. The problem widget is a zero matrix with the same shape of the actual report. The reproduction step is a sequence of zero lengths. And the context widget is a vector representing all types of widgets are zero. Then we calculated the average deep similarity between each report in the unprioritized report pool with all the reports in the prioritized report pool. And the report with the lowest similarity will be appended to the prioritized report pool. Repeat until no reports left unprioritized. We also have an experiment to evaluate the effectiveness of deep prio. We collect 10 apps with 536 reports for the experiment. We also set the commonly used evaluation metrics for the experiment, including precession, record, F measure, and APFD value. First, the research question is set to evaluate the CNN for widget type classification. The results show the effectiveness of the model. The precession value reaches an average of 19.05%. The lowest procession is 74.36% and the highest is 99.81%. For record, which measures the total amount of relevant instances that are actually retrieved, the average value is 89.98 and the record values range from 70.83% to 100%. F measure is a harmonic mean of the procession and the record and it reaches an average of 89.92%. The second research question is set to evaluate the CNN for texture description classification. The overall accuracy of the model reaches 96.65%. More specifically, the average precession of two types of texture description reaches 98.21%. The average record reaches 98.17% and the average map measure reaches 98.19%. The third research question, utilizing APFD value, compares the prioritization effectiveness of deep prior with the baselines. The first baseline is the BDDEV, the state-of-the-art approach for crowdsourced test report prioritization, and deep prior outperformed BDDEV with only half of the overhead. Compared with the image approach, which is the image analysis part of the deep prior. Deep prior also outperforms. The results show that deep prior's capability of prioritizing crowdsourced test reports is excellent, and it outperforms the state-of-the-art approach. Finally, we make the conclusion of this paper. First, we propose a novel approach for crowdsourced test report prioritization via the deep screenshot understanding. Second, we propose an integrated dataset group for deep screenshot understanding. Third, we have an empirical evaluation of the proposed deep prior. Thank you for listening to my presentation. You're welcome to ask any question about our work. Everybody, we are back again. So I, I, I hope you enjoyed the Shen Chen presentation. He is here with me and with you, and is ready to answer your questions. So please type them in in the chat. Uh, meanwhile, I will I will start with mine. So uh, I hope they are not too too mean to you. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So uh, I really enjoyed your paper and your presentation. Um, you mentioned that uh, you carry out an experiment with a data set of ten apps. I was wondering. Yes. How did you choose them? And uh, if these 10 apps, uh, do you think, is a significant uh, set for the experiment? Uh, these apps are randomly chosen from the top uh, top, top, top uh, apps uh, in Google Play. And uh, uh, we, we have some uh, small con uh, control criteria to make the apps more suitable for the process testing uh, environment scenario 
So uh, some uh, apps, for example, uh, some calculator apps, they are very simple. So there is no yeah. need to uh, have them to, uh, to put in the process of testing uh, scenarios. So we uh, the apps we chose are some, somehow uh, uh, complicated in functions and in their logics. Uh, and uh, we do not have any other uh, uh, restrictions to, uh, to have the to choose the apps. And uh, we and actually finally the ten apps are of many different categories, uh, like uh, tours, like uh, finance and uh, news and uh, uh, communication and uh, shopping apps. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, we believe uh, the apps covers many different categories. So they are presentative to. Uh, uh, and to uh, verify the effectiveness of uh, our approach. Yeah, because your your results are, are great, I find, indeed, for uh, the effectiveness or all criteria that you put in the experiments. But I was wondering, it's maybe is a mean classic software engineering question, but why 10 and not 20? I mean, how did you choose this number? And uh, one per category? Because uh, uh, our platform, our process testing platform is uh, not uh, a commercial one. So we mm -hmm. can only cr recruit uh, limited, for example, about uh, 100 or 200 uh, uh, crowd workers. Uh, it is a hard work and it is... Uh, so uh, because we have to give them a finance a reward to, uh, to have their work paid back. So uh, 10 apps is uh, uh, more suitable and to mm -hmm. uh, uh, have a balance to the expense and the experiment uh, scale. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that sounds reasonable, yeah. So uh, it also seems to me, I don't know if you calculate, it seems to me that uh, um, it is quite uh, uh, effort consuming in terms of uh, performance or CPU time, so in computation, so to speak. Uh, is that correct? Uh, did you check actually, that? Did, our, did you look at that? Yes, we uh, compare uh, the overhead of our approach to the baseline approach. Mm -hmm. And uh, the experiments show that we have only half of the overhead than, uh, compared with the baseline approach. Uh, this is uh, presented in this paper. Yes. So only, or is that is that little? Because it depending on the scale can be a lot. Uh, uh -huh. and the overhead of Sorry. fifty percent, if I understand correctly, uh, can be a lot yes. depending on the scale of of uh, of the rollout of the approach itself. Uh, yes, we we have some of. Uh, optimization to make the approach more more uh, more uh, fast faster and uh, uh, with a small smaller overhead so you are working at an, ex an extension you're saying yeah yes okay cool so okay very nice I'm looking forward to the next version then um, yeah thank you I have I have another question. So about the limitations of your approach. So are there uh, limitations? I, personally, I was thinking, for instance, in terms of uh, the characteristics of the apps, or the type of features, or even the language. Uh, are there any of these, or maybe other limitations that you see? Uh, I do not get what uh, what language do you mean? You mean a developing language or the display language of the app? Both. Uh, what? Both or either of them? Uh, as a developing language, uh, some apps, most apps, uh, Android apps are developed by Java and Kotlin, and uh, iOS apps are developed by, by Swift. But we do not uh, have any uh, processing to the uh, underlying framework. We only capture the uh, uh, images and the texture descriptions submitted by the crowd workers. So it doesn't matter whatever the developing language is. Mm -hmm. And as to the display language, uh, most uh, uh, different, uh, many apps have different language versions like Chinese, English, and 
French, Spanish. Uh, but uh, our our approach rely on some uh, open sourced uh, NLP uh, technologies. So uh, if the uh, NLP technology to specific language is supported, uh, our approach will come will have effect because. Uh, and our key technologies cap is the main basis of our approach to process the languages. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, uh, are there any limitations whatsoever? Mm, I think our approach, uh, the most uh, approach uh, limitation is that uh, mm, we only uh, process the apps uh, like uh, with uh, with a grid or table uh, structure in its mm -hmm. uh, GUI, uh, like something, uh, some apps like uh, video games, they are uh, organized uh, of some different uh, pictures and uh, rendering resources. Uh, mm -hmm. Our approach uh, involves the uh, uh, layout uh, characterization of the uh, uh, screenshot. So mm -hmm. it is uh, hard uh, so far. So far it is hard to, for us to process the the images of four of uh, uh, rendering resources like uh, and the uh, customized uh, uh, widgets like in mm -hmm. especially in with uh, video games i can imagine so uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the types of apps available on the store for instance the google store which uh, which percentages of the uh, let's say uh, apps uh, do you cover? I mean, how many do fit in your approach uh, as compared to the complete population? Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a hard uh, survey to do, but uh, uh, we believe that uh, most characteristic uh, car categories of apps. Mm -hmm. uh can support can be supported by our approach and uh, you this is a very good uh, suggestion and uh, i think mm -hmm. it's uh, important to have such a survey to uh to prove the effectiveness yes, mm -hmm. thank you did you, did, you, did you ever yeah yeah did you ever think the other way around to to define some kind of patterns uh, as you as you explain, some kind of patterns that the app uh, should uh, comply with, in order to proactively uh, help they fit to your approach. Actually, there is no very uh, uh, strict uh, rules, uh, but uh, I think uh, I think, and uh, according to our experiment, our approach can process apps of. Uh, a uh, grid or a uh, table or frame like uh, uh, layout and mm -hmm. the uh, widgets should be uh, to some extent uh, organized but not uh, like video games they are mm -hmm. put uh, ran uh, put uh, uh, by the oh. by the